name is Aisha A I N A Yenga. I'm from Kogi State. I'm a polygamous family. By the special grace of God, I'm the first graduate on my mother's side. Easy going type, jovial, and I welcome everybody. And what can you say about the uh, whole stress and CCS? Mm. Yes. The struggle was not easy. The stress stress my life. Like, imagine, look at me in the midst of all these tough guys. Can you see why I scared you? Really, I can't find you. <laughs> I got admission into the Federal Polytechnic Vida to study Electrical Electronics Engineering. My experience so far in this institution, the first day on campus, it was like a living hell for me because I was surrounded with guys all around. So I was like, can I do it? Because I was the only girl. Like, yes, this is an electronic student making noise. That's Aisha in the middle. Wait now, okay, it's not all of us. I never saw the video they do first. I never saw this. I never saw this stuff. My difficult cause so far in this school was ah, uh, anything that has to do with calculation, like MTH, because if the lecturer is lecturing in the class, I don't get it direct until when I go back and sit down on my own and revise, that is when I will get what I want. So yeah, see there, the level for their wife. <laughs> I found it difficult to cope with guys, especially in the lab, when everybody is busy with the oscilloscope, voltmeter, voltmeter, trying to put one of things in order. Like I will stand, wow, will I be able to do this thing? Because I don't know how to even put it on. Talk less of me like, okay, I want to even start working on something. It was very, very difficult for me. Secondly, my health. Because I travel mostly I travel home for treatment and when I come back it will be far ahead of me that I have to go back and sit down and start reading to meet up with them. Electronics, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Electronics, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to talk. Yeah. I want to hear. Yeah. I want to sort of. I said I am. I leave me. friend on campus was Jeffrey Mba, secondly Ibrahim Isiaka Mba, who was my then host rep. Dio was my everything on campus. Caleb Friday, Abigail, who have helped me in one way or the other throughout my academic activities. Ah, uh, I had so many friends who I can't mention their name here. Thank you all. Hi guys, I want to introduce my two fans. This is what Caleb, why he is my guy or my everything, as you guys all know, I do call him my everything. So, how are you feeling today as a graduate? Well, it has not been easy right like on 2016, coming down to the fact that let's fight this drive. I'm going to see the journey and all that. Let's fight to see how the project has handled it. Thank you so much. So, okay, five years from now, what do you see yourself doing? I think it's going into more about since I studied at the Canada Center. I'm definitely going to the summer spring year of time. Thank you. How do you well, it has been a very wonderful experience. Um, I think I see I was not going to be here, but I accepted the admission, and today I am a graduate of electrical electronics engineering. And I want to appreciate everyone, Aisha, who has been a very good friend, going through all the processes. And here we are, we are true. Thank you. Okay, five years from now, where do you see yourself? Well, I see myself establishing a company 
me and the CEO having patience on them doing one of the things, and also to be uh, able to offer solution to the challenges we're having in Nigeria as a whole. Let's do Jeffrey, my day one first friend on campus, and this my newly friend HND2, the person of Matthew. Uh, I, uh, daily, I think so. Okay, please, how do you guys feel today as a graduate? Well, I feel great, I feel nice, I feel happy <coughs> because I've not been easy, but I feel very, very, very happy about it today. But to God be the glory for all. Okay, Jeff. Uh, first and foremost, I would say thanks to God for making it possible for me to see this day. But I feel fulfilled. Um, one of my desires is to be a student. And another is to graduate, and God has been a good part. I really appreciate it. The point that he allowed me to face fair and several kinds of examples, and I was able to stand there and get to my experience. I would love to forward my education to the next level by running a postgraduate degree, current master's, after then, PhD by the special grace of God. Please, what advice do you have for the student? Outside. I want to say to every student out there, for you to believe in yourself, uh, have faith in God, most especially first thing you must do your work, follow all of your hard work. You know, if you just give me all of your you can do anything. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Well, uh, my advice to everyone, education is never a scam. That is a very good advice. Coming here has been wonderful. So take that um, bull by the horn and go ahead with your studies. At the end of the day, I tell you, you come out in twenty colors. Thank you. Years from now, I'll be happily married and roughly done with my academic pursuits. I would have achieved one of my greatest dreams by setting up an old and children home and other investments that will come in. I'm sure I've been up for another time. We met sometime early 2017, which was uh, during our national economic program. We called the first day I came to class. She was so shy because um, in my class, we had more of me. I think she was the first day that came to And at some point, I was like, can I actually shoot with studies? Because she was not actually feeling too fine. Like, she was struggling with the department. Knowing that the department is uh, always judging by gender um, equality. And being equality. So, I was wondering how she could go. To my surprise and God's mercy, she um, succeeded in our end. We didn't a good result. I she has been a very good friend. She has um, been the kind of friend that even if we have issues, our issues do not stay for long, we um, settle. I call her for advice whenever I need advice. Whenever she needs anything, she calls me. Whenever she needs advice, she calls me. Whenever she needs any kind of assistance, she calls me. Even at home, she has any friend that always checks up on a friend. So friends might be your friend, but they will forget you over time. And when they don't see you, they will, ah, ah, they will hug you whatsoever. But I should have a friend that even if you are not together, she always creates this friendly atmosphere, this ambience that she gives to anyone that is just a friend. That's one thing that differentiates her from other female friends that have to once she's like came back to my department, made all school. And Aisha is someone that um when I say she's godly, unlike other girls in school that I knew who wants to be moving around with very male, she just takes um, her story so serious that she's committed to her religion. Her religion, her religion. She's a friend of them. Um, I must be my Yes, my wife is already wife. I said my husband. Man, what shall I tell you? Asha is someone that like uh, draw people close, closer to ensure that she brings out the best out of each individual. When it comes to advice, she's the best. When it comes to love, she's the best. And there's something about her, about children. This love for children, that's, that, 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 this love for children is so so much great. Like so so much great. Now, anytime she sees uh, a child, she just like to help. Tender hands of help. Actually, uh, I know Aisha actually last year. But since when I've known Aisha, uh, she has been a good friend, a good advisor, a good everything I would have seen in school. And she's a, she, she's a strong lady. A strong lady. A really strong lady. I would love to appreciate God Almighty for seeing me throughout the struggle on this campus.
My parents in person of Mr. and Mrs. Abdullah A. I. Miyanga, thank you so much for supporting me throughout the struggles of my academics. And to my lovely and wonderful siblings, God bless you. I'm at Obaje. Thank you so much for everything. I would love to appreciate my mentor in person of engineer Onu Christian, who has been my friend on campus. Thank you so much, sir, for everything. I love you. I would love to acknowledge my then HOD and project supervisor in person of engineer A. E. Yanda, who has shown me a fatherly love throughout my academics pursuit on this campus. Then I would love to acknowledge Princess Mokuai. Thank you for everything. I would love to appreciate all my wonderful friends who stood by me throughout my academic struggle. You guys are one in a million. I love you.